Hey everybody, this is Raymond Camden, and in this video I'm going to be showing two different VS Code extensions that work with uh, SQL Server and MySQL. So the first one I'm going to look at is the MS SQL one, and as you could probably guess, this is a SQL Server one. Um, and I should point out that when I was doing my testing, I had both extensions installed and active, and it seemed to kind of fight with each other. Uh, so that may be something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, I have just turned off the other one for now. So when I finish this part of the video, I will turn this one off and turn on the other one, and we'll see the um, MySQL version. But anyway, uh, so this is the MS SQL extension for SQL Server. I have SQL Server running here. Uh, I'm already connected. If we go into the command palette, you can see where yeah, I can go in here and I can make a new connection and I can also manage my connection profile. So I could have multiple different ones installed. I could also uh, switch which DB I'm using, but I'm gonna use just for testing. And this is all reported down here. That is my local SQL Server, Death Star SQL Express, that's the DB, and that is the user I'm using. Now I should point out that you have to work in a .sql file for this stuff to be active. So when I have that, I could begin typing and I get autocomplete. You can see there's my table, and that's the only table. Um, if I go in here, I can actually see some autocomplete for my columns as well as uh, some baked in SQL stuff that is way beyond what I do. Uh, but I definitely have ID and I definitely have a name. And I like that it's telling me the type. So you see it's in varchar, not null. But we'll just say star because that's how I roll and go ahead and execute it. And you see there's also a shortcut for that control shift D. Now here is the output. It's very nice. Uh, you could also select a cell and copy. Uh, you can select a row, a column, and do, and do the same thing as well. You can also save it as CSV or JSON. So we could save this result set as result set JSON, and it is created, and there it is right there, and real nice, uh, nice and simple. That's it. Um, also notice the um, the information about how many rows are affected and the time and all that. That could be useful for debugging performance issues. And that is pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is actually turn off MS SQL. We'll disable it like that. And then I will turn on the SQL Server one. And we will reload. And all those panels should go away. All right and it's already connected to MySQL. So I defined a connection already. Uh, it's storing it to a flat file. Uh, you can also just kind of connect on the fly. I'll open up the command palette and you can see all the options. We'll select, we will select a database because I could see in the bottom corner there, one's not selected. And we'll do Drupal. All right, so now I get some autocomplete. It was kind of weird for me when I was testing. I know it is definitely a, col a, a table. Um, in terms of columns, you could see it gives you some information there as well. Uh, in terms of executing a query, you either do it in the command palette with SQL query or in what they call a advancer build, which is basically a temporary file. So. If you wanna just run it here, you can do select star from node, hit enter, and there's the output. You can't copy long, I guess you could copy and paste, like so, uh, but not quite as nice as the other extension. This is the advancer query, and this gives you more space to uh, write your query out, and from here, I could save it and do SQL run advancer query build, and there's that output. And I believe if I modify this on the fly, it will not do anything. I thought it would actually automatically run it, but it did not. Um, 
and it's not even run query advancer build. It was working. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I had not scrolled down. So there you go. You have two different options for uh, working with databases in, in Visual Studio Code. Like I said, I have not yet found one for NoSQL, either Cloudant or Mongo, uh, but if you know of one, let me know and I'll be happy to give it a try. Thank you.